Hi guys, it's Jimmy. So I got some fabulous Happy Mail from Sally Rebostein, I think is how you pronounce your name, last name. Hopefully I said it right. If not, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with pronouncing people's names. But thank you so much for this beautiful Happy Mail. And I haven't looked inside. I wanted to open it on camera. But I have been obsessed with this envelope since last night. It was too late for me to do a video. A friend took me out to lunch for my birthday, which is great. And she gave me the most beautiful journal. So I'll show you guys that too. Um, but I'm going to concentrate on this beauty, which is so gorgeous. I'm in love with it. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And I just love this envelope. I love it so much that I am going to make it into a journal. It's so pretty. I mean, I'm just going to... I'm just going to bring this up so you can see. It's so pretty. I mean, it has so much texture. And then this is a hand-drawn little flower. And don't you, aren't you in love with this label? And she hand, my name is handwritten. And you have the most beautiful handwriting, Sally. It, it's amazing. I just love it. It's so pretty. And the colors are just so vibrant and beautiful. And it's metallic. And I love this green and purple together. It's just green and pink with the black it's just gorgeous oh my gosh and then this is the back isn't this beautiful so it has a leaf so it's all ready to be a journal <laughs> and I can't so I'm going to be very careful when I open it. I'm just going to fold it in half and sew in some signatures and it is going to be a gorgeous journal that I will treasure forever this is just such a beautiful envelope that I want to make it into a journal and she wrote me a little note. She said that she's been trying to send this out forever. <laughs> but since your birthday is coming up, she got on it. <laughs> she got on the stick, as she said. And it says, happy birthday, which is so sweet. Thank you so much. That is unbelievably generous. And I was so happy when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. I even, like, I went to my friend's house and I catch the bus everywhere because the transit system is pretty good in Colorado. So, um... I was going to meet my friend and it was and I and, but I went to the mailbox before and I totally had this in my bag as I traveled <laughs> but I was so tempted to open it but I said no I want to do it on camera so this is great I mean it's coming apart very very easily so I can definitely preserve and I don't know what's in here but I'm super excited oh my gosh wow <laughs> oh wow look at all this stuff Oh my gosh. Wow. I see lots of goodness. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Sally. This is great. Wow. That is just beautiful. I love happy mail. A birthday mail, I should say. <laughs> wow. How fun. So these are beautiful strips of black and white paper, which are gorgeous. And they just have the most beautiful patterns. You see this? Absolutely gorgeous patterns of paper. I love it. So pretty. Just gorgeous. Wow. I just love these. You can use these for so much. For ATCs. And they're perfectly straight, which is awesome. For cards. Just for so much. And I love how they all go together such a beautiful color family. I love black and white and I hardly ever do anything in black and white so those are awesome. I can't wait to use those. Thank you Sally. And then um, there are some gorgeous little butterflies so let's do those next. You guys know how much I love butterflies. Oh look at them and they're in red too. They would go with that gorgeous paper but I love the shape of them. Maybe they're hand cut. Those are beautiful. I love them. Pretty, pretty. And they're really pretty with that red. I love that. Just gorgeous. And then there is a flower. So pretty. And it's textured. It has a really nice texture. And then there's some more die cut flowers. Which I love. They're like made out of chipboard. Awesome. Oh my gosh. And look at these. They're stitched. Can you see that? They have stitches, so it's like a round circle, and it's stitched. Oh, aren't those cool? Wow, those would be cool as like flowers on an art journal page, or maybe I'll use them in my planner. Wouldn't that be a pretty head for a flower? Oh, I love these butterflies, and there's so many of them. Thank you. Wow, I 
really like that pattern of paper too with the red. How gorgeous. Very, very pretty. I love it. I really, really do. Those are just pretty. Right there. Just gorgeous. Hopefully you can see the pattern. I'm so sorry the lighting in my craft room is still not the best right now. I'm trying to figure it out. I think I have to do my desk in another way or something. And it is really coming in, isn't it? Okay, and then look at that one. Isn't that pretty? And it's textured too. It has like leaves in it. It's really pretty. Can you see that? Absolutely gorgeous. And then that one's textured too. And brown. Just gorgeous. And then there's a little star here. And it's all from textured paper. I wish you could feel like the texture of it. It's such a beautiful texture. And then there's a red one. There's another red one. Awesome. And then that's a little flower, which I love. How pretty. And then there's a circle that's textured. And then this is a beautiful flower. And it looks like it might have been... Oh, yeah, it's a... That is so pretty. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, I dropped a card that I want you to see too. <laughs> Look at this, number seven. Seven and 14 are my favorite numbers. So <laughs> I love this, oh how cute. And there's more of these and they're like felted flowers. Like they're made from, maybe not even felt, kind of like um, velvet. They have a really beautiful texture. I love texture. I'm a total texture girl. And then look, there's little birdies. This one's made from felt, and this one is from that, like, velvety material. Aren't those cute? Oh my gosh, those will be so cute on ATCs. And then there's that shape, which will be fun. And another gorgeous butterfly. And then this pretty flower that I was talking about. And then this gorgeous little flourish die cut. Isn't that pretty? And then there's some tickets. Look at that. These are so cute. Oh, I love these. And it's great because I can write little words in them. How pretty are those? Thank you. And they're all folded for me and ready to go. And then there's a thank you card. And look at how pretty that is. Thank you for this beautiful card. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. And I should be thanking you. And what a great way to use your scrap paper and to stamp on it. And that is such a beautiful, unique card. I love it. Okay, I'm going to read it just for a second. <laughs> well, I love these. And I can't wait to use them in future projects. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sally. This is great, and I love this card. So pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> now this is a gorgeous piece of paper. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, these are pretty. And these are coffee filters. Gorgeous. Oh, I love this so much. Ooh, that one's nice. I'm going to totally hoard this. It's going like in my special paper pile where Lone's paper is that she sent me that gorgeous photo paper. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's beautiful. It's so colorful. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. And more butterflies. And then, oh my gosh, all of these sequins. And I have a project that I needed sequins for. So this is great. And there's so many different shapes. Can you see there? There's like hearts and circles and just oh, butterflies. Two different kinds sides of hearts. I mean, lots of different sides of circles. This is great. So fun. How awesome. And they're so colorful and pretty. I love sequins. And then look, these are little flowers. And happy faces. Isn't that cute? There's a happy face in there. Oh, that's great. And like little swirlies. These are awesome. Thank you so much. And then there's another one of those chipboard flowers, which I love those. And then some mulberry paper. <laughs> oh, how pretty. These are gorgeous. Oh, they feel so nice. 
I love handmade paper. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And these are really two colors. I could put those with the butterflies and make a page or something. Oh, and look at the circle. Isn't it pretty? Wow. Nice. It's a library card. Thank you. This is my first library card. How nice. Oh my gosh, and where's it from? I can't tell. But it looks a little old. This is great. From 80-something, I think. Or even before that. That is just gorgeous. So pretty. I love this. Wow. And then beautiful die cuts that I can use to make cards. Just all sorts of things you can do with those. You can stamp little sayings on them or words and put them on an art journal page. And then look at this gorgeous paper. Can you see that? It's so pretty. It's like a copper with a green, like a hunter green color. So pretty. Oh, and there's photo paper. How gorgeous. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. I wonder if this is a print of your artwork or how you treated it. You have to tell me. This is so pretty. Wow. And then there's a piece of beautiful music paper. I love this. So pretty. Oh, and look at these little mushrooms. These are so cute and they're so colorful. Oh my gosh. These are so going in my planner. Oh, they're adorable. I love them so much. Oh yeah, I can put one on one page and one on the other. These are so cute. Thank you. Wow. And I think these are alcohol inks. Aren't those pretty? This will be a gorgeous bookmark for ATC. Wow, and then there's maps. Isn't that pretty? And then this is like painted on a beautiful pattern. It's really pretty. Oh my gosh, and then I got some dye doilies. Look at that, they're so pretty. Very, very nice. Oh, and look at this, it's circles. Oh, that's a pretty tag. Oh, I love this. I love the little handle that you made too. Isn't that pretty? With all those circles and then it has so much color underneath. That is really pretty. And then we have these gorgeous flowers and they're made from some type of plastic, which are fun. Those are so fun to use. Oh yes, and some painted jelly paper. I love using this in collages, and you can put it on anything that you alter, boxes, everything. And this is such an interesting paddle, pattern, it kind of looks like tire tracks or something like this. I wonder how you got the patterns. It's really cool, I love that. How fun! Wow, and look at that. I love painted paper, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and look at the butterflies. Those are so pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh, and there's some painted paper. I think that, that that's jelly printed on. Very pretty. It has so much texture. Can you see that gorgeous color? And this is definitely a jelly print, which I love jelly prints. Ooh, and textured, 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 embossed paper. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to have trouble using that one too because it's so cool. And then more for gorgeous flowers that I can use as masks. That's what I'm going to use them for is I can put them down and spray over them and stencil around them. Thank you. I love masks too. Like I never get them, but I just love them. This is great. Thank you. And then there's more of those gorgeous little birdies. And there's trees and just all sorts of cute stuff. These were so cute and little flowers. See that? Aren't those adorable? Oh, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And there's, these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Wow. And there's more, <laughs> which is wonderful. Oh my gosh. So these are more beautiful die cuts. Awesome. 
Thank you. And these look really great, like on altered folders. Wow. My brain is racing right now. Isn't that great? Or you could even make a little book with them or something. Those are cute. Oh, I love them. Ooh, look at that. Shiny. <laughs> Very nice. Very cool. And then there's some there. There's butterflies. More little plastic flowers that I can use for that. Perfect. I'm just trying to find the small stuff first. Oh, and look at these. Oh, I love so much to stamp on these and to put them on my cards. So pretty. And then there's a pink one, a pink little butterfly. It's so pretty. I love that. Alrighty. Oh, and look at this. It's a little calendar. Page. Isn't th that's going to be cute in a collage. Like where you can see. Sometimes I have trouble covering up my collages because, yeah, I just do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, this is the altered um, National Geographic. Oh, how nice. I love this. I haven't made any of that paper in a while and I used all of mine for collage. So thank you for resupplying. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And that's a painting, so you can kind of see the figure of a man. Can you see that? That's really interesting. Ooh, I love it. And the horse. Wow. And there's more gorgeous mulberry paper. And look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, this is so great. Wow. This is very cool. It's like first class. And it talks about miles. This is really cool. And it looks like it's for trains. Isn't that awesome? So it talks about how many miles they go. Oh, this is great. This is a beautiful piece of ephemera. Thank you, Sally. Oh my gosh. How pretty. Oh, I love this. I'll have to scan it and use the copies because I'm going to totally hoard it. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, and look at these images. Oh, these are fun. Those will be great for collage, like collage images. Aren't those fun? Wow. I love those. Wow, and they're little bugs. Those look cute on ATCs, and you can color them in. <laughs> wow. Oh, isn't this cute? And that's a beautiful card. Live simply, dream big, be grateful, give love, and laughs, laugh a lot. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. And do you see these flowers? Those are so pretty. Laugh lots. That is a great quote. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I love the dots that you use behind. Oh, this is pretty. You make some gorgeous cards, I can tell. Definitely. And I'm going to totally keep that. I should probably give it to someone, but it's going to stay with me. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, and then this is a spray, which I love that too. Like, like when I print something out or something like that, then I use it as scrap paper. And the sprays and the jelly prints, it just adds something on top of it. But this is great. I love purple. How fun. That will be great in a collage too. Actually, I'm going to take this out because I'm going to use this today. And you guys will see on September 1st why. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Oh, this is a yummy piece too. Wow. I just love these papers. It's so great. Like, that's why I work under paper because it's so pretty. It's amazing just how much texture and design you get from these sheets and what you can use them for. It's so pretty. And then there's green. Isn't that pretty? And that's a jelly print. Thank you so much, Sally. This was such a wonderful surprise and I am so grateful for everything. I cannot wait to use it. You totally made my day. <laughs> it's so wonderful. Wow, thank you so much. This was unbelievably generous and kind of you. And I cannot wait to use all of these wonderful goodies. Thank you. <laughs> and this beautiful envelope that I can tell you spent so much time on that I just love and will treasure for years to come. I'm going to make it into a journal. And I love this label. Maybe I'll take off the label. But no, I'm going to leave it on there. 
because you have the most beautiful handwriting. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Thank you so much for the birthday happy meal. It was very kind and unbelievably generous. Okay, guys. So um, thank you so much for watching. I will have a video for you guys tomorrow. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. And don't forget about my birthday giveaway. If you haven't sent a picture, you have until September 3rd. So make sure that you do that. I have gotten some gorgeous, gorgeous art um, that you guys have made because you've been inspired by my videos. And I bought some more stuff for the giveaway. So I'll do a video next week um, just to kind of entice you. Maybe the day before the giveaway um, is um, the deadline for the giveaway is. And yeah. And then we'll announce the winner on the 6th. So you don't have that much time. So <laughs> please get me your pictures if you haven't. I tried to respond to everyone that sent me pictures to tell them um, that I had received. But um, but if you sent it, then I'm sure I got it. And I'm going to work on the video right after my birthday. And I am so excited to be able to share your beautiful artwork um, with the world. It's going to be amazing. And you guys are so talented. It's amazing. And some of you guys were like, oh, it's not the best. And it's like, no, it's beautiful. It's so wonderful. And it inspires me so much. And like, you just take like a little bit of my idea and you just like take it to a whole nother level, <laughs> which is amazing. So do not be shy. It's, it's just, it's beautiful. Whatever you create, I think it's all beautiful. And I think no one has any right to criticize it or downplay it or because it makes you happy and part of art is just the creation process and not worrying about the results just having fun and but you guys get beautiful results so you don't even have to worry about that so yeah, again my email address is in the link of this video so you can just send the photos there and um i'm so excited thank you guys so much for for being a part of my birthday giveaway and thank you so much Sally for your beautiful card with such a beautiful message and um, and thank you for all of these goodies I cannot wait to use them they're so beautiful and I am just so blessed <laughs> to have a friend like you that would send me all this fabulous stuff okay so have a great day guys I'll see you later bye bye